How's that hole look? We have been in wash your washer. Go ahead and oversize that other. This was something we strengthened before, but uh, Wait, I'm gonna have enough battery. we may have just built, bent a little too much on that and weakened that metal at some point. So we'll have to just get some more strong, stronger something there. We caught that on the left. We're, we're back to 1.6. It, it just Most downgraded. So we got a call. We uh, had a little mishap on the uh, way up here. No big deal. Bender had a little broken metal strap on it. But uh, the reason why I say we have a call is because we're going to go check out Winder Towing. And that's off-road recovery because we are at Sand Hollow and he's the resident champion of fixing and doing. Well, so far I've seen it on YouTube anyway. But uh, so we're gonna go see if he can help us out, point us in the right direction, or uh, whatever we can. Maybe we'll see the yellow band at Cherokee today. I don't know, but here we go. We got an adventure going. I got Rob, hey, and Lance in the back. What's up? Rob's on camera today. <laughs> Hopefully we can get this welded up so that we can go to Pink Sands tomorrow. Yeah, right now you'll see from our footage that we got a doubler strapped on. I carnaged my uh, toolbox doorkeeper strap and we drilled some holes and made a doubler out of four bolts. And uh, that kept us good, but for our long trip home, it's gonna be another 12 hours back. We wanna have some welds on there get back to the shop we may have some redesign that we're going to be doing this is something that we've already modded once on the 1.0 trailer with us having our little prowler fenders that uh, the reason why we didn't do that in the second version is because of this reason is because we wanted more strength in the fender and we already saw a failure with his in the first place because of that fender flapping now we don't have the heavy flapping but you know just jarring or whatever uh, might have caused that um, and another thing when we had to bend that metal over there because we kind of made a custom twist design uh, just to try and make it look as smooth and sleek as we could you know we hammered on it a bunch and we probably weakened that metal but it's about 5500 miles on that trailer before it broke like that so uh, I'm not disappointed it's just things break and uh, we're just making it better. The way these low profile fenders sit, I think that the edge sits right at the top to catch all the wind coming down. So I do like that with the 2.0, it's a full fender, so it doesn't have that situation. Yeah, that's definitely some of the things with our channel is, you can put everything in theory and decide not to do it because, oh, it may or may not work, but we wanna put stuff that's in theory and build it and see actually what happens. So. Uh, you're seeing firsthand, would it work if you made it this kind of fender on a trailer? Well, this is the problems you can have. You gotta have a lot of strength and a stiffener in it, and uh, it's gonna catch air. So, there we go, that's the uh, problem, and now we're coming up with solutions. Lance, what do you have to say about that? Man, all in all, the trailer really has done good with this first design. I've already pulled it all the way to Tennessee and back. Going dry there, coming back with the razor, that fender's held up all the way that all those miles and then it made it all the way here still good design we're gonna go get it fixed though and see if we can make our way back home then we'll do some better modifications i can't wait to see how long 2.0 lasts see if it is that much better then we're, we're gonna continue fixing 3.0 what lance you're gonna design 3.0 might have to if 2.0 don't hold up we're gonna find out about the fender he is the only engineer in the group Electronic tech. Engineering. <laughs> Electronic <mentality>. tech. <laughs> what? 
Jay's got the engineering mentality. He's a thinker. is on the left. Well, we're here at Winter Towing. Uh, I usually meet people who are famous-ish, YouTube famous, I don't know, but uh, he looks like a nice guy, so we're gonna see if he can help us out. Ted, I had to do everything right because I'm on camera. That's beautiful. I figured we'd be good in hands for you. And like everybody, anytime somebody's stuck, you get 40 comments. Where's the pictures? Yeah, we want yeah, to yeah. see what's going on. Yeah. So when I seen you, I was like, of course. Like that's what people are always asking for, is seeing people stuck. Yeah, they, they want to see the trouble people get in and then the problem solved. Group around our area for Canadian River off road. Get up in. like our Canadian River uh, groups or whatever and you want to see people stuck and getting unstuck it's all you ever want he's got like three videos a week that come out and it's great content and he shows you some good tips and he's just he's he's the good kind of guy that uh, makes you proud to be an American and just uh, you know here we are states away we're Texans in Utah and felt like we were at home. <laughs> yeah. hey, it was a pretty good experience there. He was really nice. Uh, it, it's awesome. That's my first time ever meeting a, a well, a YouTube star as far as I'm concerned. He, he's awesome. I love watching his videos. How'd you like the experience? Uh, it was pretty cool. I was going to sell some uh, winter merchandise. That's pretty cool. Got a shirt. Got yourself a hat. Pretty cool guy. Well, as you've already seen, uh, we had Matt weld this, and um, this ride is beautiful, but the roads are tough. So it came, and it has broken again. We did a beautiful weld, but right now it's tough. So we are needing some re-engineering, so we're going back to the strap. We'll see how long this lasts. We got another one if we have to, but uh, we'll put it back together.
I feel a redesign coming in. Do you, Rob? I do. Redesign underway. 1.8. 1. 1.75 <laughs> 1. uh, drove there and uh, 1.76 made it the rest of the way there. Six. <laughs> Mod. I don't know what version this is going to be. This feels like a step back. But anyway, we'll get Rob on the road again. But we got about five hours and we're going to be going naked tires. So let's check out both of these suckers. This was our initial brake. It broke again after we got it fixed up. And uh, we didn't want to lose it on the highway. But this one looked like everything was going great. But uh, it decided to have problems too. And it immediately started having cracks on the back of the fender. So it's going to be getting dark before we get home. And we wanted to not hit someone's windshield possibly. So that's it. That's what the test is all about. We didn't say it's going to test correct every time sometimes we're gonna fail and uh, it's a long fail in the making <laughs> took a long time to fail but when it did it failed hard but anyway you're gonna see how on uh, 2.0 if you watch the videos we already changed something because we already knew there was a problem that needed solved so uh, we'll be looking to do something similar I feel to Rob's maybe even more we'll see well we'll catch you on the next video hopefully we'll be at home in our beds without any more trouble well there you have it our first big fail uh, I just wanted to give a big shout out to Matt from Matt's off-road recovery and winter towing uh, they took real good care of us and uh, none of this was a result of his weld it was a really great fix that he did. Uh, we had an extra six, seven hours of driving that we didn't have to worry about uh, those fenders because of him, and uh, we're very grateful. Uh, as you see by the other fender going ahead and breaking, that that metal had just had its time life expired. Uh, but I'm not discouraged by it. Uh, it just helps us learn something, and it just helps us to grow. So. Uh, we thank you all for all being on this journey for us and we got more projects to come uh, subscribe so you can see what's coming up next see you next time YouTube don't do that these are expensive vendors! They're trash vendors. They're like $25 a piece.